All right, guys, welcome back to Foundry. Hopefully you're having a good morning, afternoon, and evening. And if you're watching this on the day of release, hopefully you had a good little cheeky weekend. Uh, and last time, we kind of started adding these smelters. We added the automated power over there. We got a few assemblers up. And we got the research uh, actually being automated as well with the blue science pack. Where today, we're going to expand our little production. We're going to optimize this a little bit more, mine a little bit more efficiently, and talk about any future projects we want to possibly look at. But hopefully you all enjoyed episode one of this series, and maybe you, you checked out the tips and tricks video as well, uh, which I've been kind of uh, finding out over the last couple of days of playing over on the Twitch streams, and I'll put all the links in the description if you want to, if you've not seen any of them. But if you're new here, hopefully you enjoy the videos, and uh, potentially subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, like, comment, even if it's just a bloody emoji. So, without further ado, the first project we're going to look at today is we're going to check out the research. So, what we're going to look at in here. We have containers. We have the conveyor balances. We have the decor. We have basic shapes. The paint roller. Door singles. Ladders. All this kind of good stuff. Light poles. I might actually go for the lights, actually. I know it's aesthetic kind of thing. But just adding lights around here because when it goes nighttime, I've noticed it does go nighttime a lot, and it's it's longer nighttime compared to what it is daytime. Uh, I don't know if that was just because of the branch of the version I was on, because um, I was very fortunate to have a month early access to the game, so I was was still in the preview build before the actual release. But I want to maybe add some lights around here. I'm not going to go full decoration yet. Because with it being a new factory game, I want to kind of learn the machines, the recipes, uh, kind of look at a bit of optimization and all this kind of stuff. Uh, and then maybe in the future or maybe in the next season that we look at, we then start doing some crazy decorational pieces. But who knows, my mind changes all the time and maybe we will see some in this series. So first, let's remove this little building here. Let's get some more miners. How many do I have? I don't have any on me right now. Let me auto sort this a little bit. Let's make, just make 10 of them. I don't, I know I don't need 10, but I'm going to put one, two, three more down here. And the reason I want to put three extra down is because when these are all running and this belt's running, this will run around 55 and the belts actually hold 160. So I want to kind of send, I want to overproduce the amount we're producing right now with the ore because if we do that we know our belts will be full which we know if all of these machines turn on we'll be fine and dandy let me grab a cheeky one of you um we'll put one there maybe you know what i'm gonna extend that along there as well i'm gonna remove this one and i'm just gonna replace it just so i can have all the control of the, like the panels aimed in the correct direction like so we do have some more room over here which i could use for uh, some other future things. So what I need now is I need the loaders. I'm just going to place them one down there, one down there, one down there. And then I'm just going to get all of you uh, to come into here like this and just merge onto this line like so. So now, even though it is bottlenecked right now, we do have enough to get all of these up and running. Because if I was to delete all of these, all of these machines will boot up. So you know what? We're going to do something crazy. And this is going to be an absolute waste. And you guys are probably going to get mad at me in the comments. But I just want to make sure we can see all of this happening. And we can start start seeing these boot up now. To be honest, what I should have done is I should have put them into another container, if I'm honest with you. Because <laughs> I feel like I've just wasted like all of that ore right there. But oh well, things happen. Allow it, okay? Um, now we've run that, I'm going to do the same to this xenoferrite ore over here. I, I feel like we should call this xeno, uh, and maybe that that one technum, it, I feel like that's kind of abbreviated enough. But we'll get xeno over here, um, and then we'll, hopefully in the future we'll uh, see some more ore. Um, so let's kind of put you down. We'll put you down here as well, and then we're gonna expand this one here like this, and increase this along here. And then I'm gonna we'll actually need Wait, I thought I added one. Uh, put one there. You there. Actually, no, put you there. You there. Remove that one. Then we're going to put one uh, here as well. We're going to remove that. Why is there two on this one? Oh, actually, I needed to keep that one there. I wanted to remove this one. Remove this line. Um, wait, what am I doing? These are all wrong. I'm just removing everything. Just, just ignore me. It's the start of the day. It's 7 a.m. in the morning for me right now. Just allow things to happen. And it's a YouTube day. So let's just put that there. I remove you, you, and you. I'm going to put you down one, two, three, four, like that. Oh, I didn't put one there. You along there. You along there. You along there. 
Oh, yeah, that can't go there because of the uh, side of the thing, right? So what I'm hoping for in the future, because these are pretty big, right? And you have to put down an output. And then if you want to put it in an input as well, you can either put it here to, uh, to take up two more blocks to then put a machine here. Or you can put another one of the inserters here with a belt to go to that to then go into a machine. Hopefully in the future, they think about adding just one of these with a... A button on this side on this side which is output and then a button on this side which is input and just have one of these to connect to another building which is literally a machine inserter instead of uh, one of these just being put onto a belt to go onto another belt which is right here then an inserter into a machine and don't know why they didn't think of that maybe they did but there's a reason behind it but maybe we'll see that in the future so now we can see all of these you know ferrite on here and the research has just been complete so we've just got some of these being built uh, and i'm just going to kind of dash these around a little bit and uh, just to light up the area there is no kind of directional or uh pathing of where the lights uh actually kind of cast so if i was to put blocks here um like so as you can tell the light wouldn't be down here but it is it's kind of just, it's coming through the wall uh, so there's no kind of like dynamic lights or anything like that just for that good old visual depth maybe in the future who knows uh, but let's add some more lights just to kind of light up the area a little bit, like so. And then what I want to look at is I want to look at adding some assemblers because I want to make some wire because we do want to kind of head down towards make electronic components. And wire is made from technum rods, which is these right here. And then we've also got electronic component components that require technum rod and wire. So if we make the coil wire on this side, it would make sense so let's grab some foundation let's just kind of build this out over here like so actually we're going to remove this light now i might have to remove you in fact so let's do that let's just remove this let's kind of put him down over here in the middle-ish where is my drop pod let's put you down there get rid of you i'm putting that in there hopefully you're enjoying the the longer videos as well by the way because i've obviously the first video was like 50 minutes long um, but I want to kind of get more information and make it more raw than very quick editing, 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 get to the point kind of thing. Um, you know, I, th I feel like uh, it's, it, it's kind of got a good uh, good thing to it. Right, so with this being the storage, I've got an, uh, uh, an output coming out here with a belt going along here. And I feel like we can just grab ourselves an assembler. I'm just going to place this right here. And we'll do another inserter there. And then we'll put another one down here. Do I make two? I, I might actually make two. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's do it that way. So let's get the inserters now. I actually need to make some more. Uh, more inserters. Blah, 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 blah. Make a couple of them. I've still got some lights being made right now. So let's put you into here. Let's put you into there. And then we want to make you to be wire. We want you to be wire. And then we want you to output storage. So we're going to go from you to you. We're going to put down a logistics container uh i guess here with a belt you're gonna set to output you're gonna set to output you're an input rotate these along here just straight like that you can go straight into that machine and then we have the rods right and we have this here so what i'm thinking is if we do a output from here with an input there I'm going to quickly remove some of this floor in here, like so, to replace it with that. And then I'm going to add a, another assembler. We'll just make uh, one more of them. And then once that's done, I'm going to I can place that here. We're going to bring these down. Uh, how big is this going to be? So I can bring that to there. I'm actually going to remove this. And I'm going to push it back by one into this output. We're going to connect them belts up there. We're going to turn this to an output. So now this buffer is going into here. Yeah, I could bring this along here, but I feel like coming out the storage is a little bit better. And then we're going to grab ourselves the assembler and then place that there like this with an inserter here. And then we're going to set the recipe of you to electronic components like so. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then as we would, you to you, you to you change some of this and then fill you in there like that and then grab ourselves a storage like so and then get you rotated around and now bob's your uncle we've just got a copper lineup so a copper being produced here 
copper goes into copper wire goes into storage then the wire goes into here with the rods to make the electronic components the electronic components go into the storage right here so quick and easy no you know brain power needed for that let me clear that up real quick and uh yeah bob's your uncle fanny's your aunt right so the next thing i've been kind of working on a little bit of a tunnel here it's like like a little underpass uh, because I want to kind of look at maybe adding um, foundations. So if we look at the foundation recipe, all it needs is xenoferrite plates and technum rods. Uh, so if we... I'm thinking if we pull it up here, because here's the rods, right? Because these are going to the wire. And then the plates are over there. No, plates are there in that storage. So I'm thinking we kind of pull these out here, divert them around into this tunnel... To then go into a machine here, into an assembler, into a storage here. And I think that will work pretty well. And that means I've got then foundations. Um, I think that will work. As long as we've got these foundations here to power. So let's grab ourselves a belt. We're going to bring you around here. Then rotate you that way. Get some belts. If I hold right click, I can change the direction of these. And then I can put you into here like so one two the ramp needs two spaces change you again bring you on the up ramp and then we'll pull you this way like that which that means i can then get myself a an assembler uh let's put this on this side and then if you're coming up there that means i'm going to need a belt there but then also, I've researched the long inserters, as you can tell here. These actually research, well, they research, they reach over to that belt right there. So if we've got, I need to set this to output, don't I? So output the plates, they'll come along here. These are inputs. They're going to overreach to the rods. We can actually remove this one and this one now. And I'm going to set this to make building blocks. And then do the same again with everything else we do. Oh, um, what's going on there? Oh, no, that's because I put that in the wrong position. Put you into there. Grab myself a storage. Place you down like that. Bob's your uncle. Into there with you set to output. That should now give me foundations. Beautiful. So things are kind of progressing. A, like, I love how simple and simplistic this game is because you can build vertically. You can build just with ease you know like i can dig 50 blocks down if i wanted to to put a belt to underpass everything like we could even if i wanted to build a building up there for example instead of having this foundation going from a to b like we did right there i could put it underground and kind of make it like a cable uh sort of thing uh, but if we ever do have a look at the research um i did research the lights and i did research the cables i think i'm gonna research the balancer next um, which is basically a splitter. So I'm going to get that research because that that was continue uh, needed to be continued to be honest. Because I had a look at it a minute ago. So I'm going to get that researched, and then we can look at what I kind of want to look at doing next. Which I think I'm going to look at getting conveyor belts done, which need xenoferrite plates and machinery parts. So the machinery parts are here. Um, I should have really put these into a storage, right? And I'm going to need to split these. So if we put a splitter like here, we can bring these plates around here. So maybe go up to this direction because here's the plates and here's the machinery parts. So we can put down the the things here, right? The uh, conveyor belts. So if we put them there, that would be pretty good. Yes? Yes, I agree. Okay, so after a little bit of time and uh, waiting on the researches mainly... Uh, I've done what I've basically what I said. I've unlocked the um, the splitter, and this is pretty simple because all you need to do is just think of it as factorial. You put one item in there, and then it will split two items if you bring out two paths right here. So we just currently built that, and like I said, I've built this along here. And what I've done is I've doubled the machinery parts. So I've actually made two because I have a feeling it's going to be a necessity of an item to make. So this is a machinery part, and then this is a machinery part. And this one is outputting to where it was going before to make the um, science packs. And then the second one um, is going over here into this storage 
which you can tell here. So there's the storage just sat comfortably between the two machines. It's intaking the machinery parts from here, but then it's spitting them directly out into this output, but then going back in into this machinery right here to make them at least assembler to make them a the, um, uh, the 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 belts. Yes, the belts. But I've also left this here in case we need to send this elsewhere as well. So we have plates sat here. Obviously, the buffer for the plates is over there. And then we can send this uh, later on somewhere else. We can put these onto a belt later on. And we can start maybe looking into a bus line to start pulling this item, uh, the machinery parts, not machinery parts, the electronic components, the wires, um, everything into a bus line. Have about 20 belts kind of going. And maybe into like a central storage system. And maybe... We kind of want to do that, but I don't, I'm hesitant to do that right now because our ores are currently depletable. So if we actually look at the ores, what I've done is I've built the foundation going around them and just kind of made it like a little construction area. Uh, so in the future, we can add some more drones on the outside here. And I've done the same over there. Um, added some lights going across these little belts. And then over here, you can kind of see, and I've added some lights over there where the, uh, the power is as well. Uh, kind of creating, it's starting to come like a little fortress. A little fort's kind of building up together now. And I'm starting to like it. It's starting to come together. I'm not going to lie, I've been obviously loving this game on the Twitch streams and everything. And it's been a true blast. We've sunk many hours into this now. And uh, yeah, like I said, if you want to see the behind the scenes, make sure to check the VOD channel of how I built like all of this minute by minute. Um, they're all into 30 minute episodes if that's something you're interested in um i'll put a link in the description as well so check them out and uh, if you if you like them just sit back relax and watch some 30 minute videos there's about 24 maybe 25 videos right now so if you want to see what happens in two videos time from now which will come out in maybe less, less than a week on the main channel check it out you know okay so i'm in the research station and i'm looking what i kind of want to do next maybe we go for the science packs we get the science packs and they they need oh they actually need conveyors and building blocks which we've literally just done what a bloody convenience that is so we've got building blocks and the conveyor belts i was just building them for ease of use but it's actually used to make the science blocks okay well let's get you research buddy because Wait, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if I have to put the red ones in here or can they go in a separate building? Maybe we'll science it. So when I make the red ones, I'm going to have to bring them foundations out. We'll bring them out. We'll build it something over here. I'll, bu I'll build a second science lab. I'll put it down here and then I'll put the red ones in that and then see if it works. Or is it going to be like the other games where we have to put the blue red and then all the other um colors you know like the greens and the yellows and the pinks all into one building maybe we've got to do it that way but i do know if we do put multiple of these science buildings down we can research faster so maybe i'll put like five of them down and then have the blue red and like all that kind of stuff on like a bus line and have them all fed but obviously we need to increase the production because these are extremely slow to make but we have got a lot of items but i don't want to overproduce these just yet because like we've got rods being used for else uh, other things the plates being used for other things and right now we've got depletable ores i feel like we don't need to do that until we get unlimited ores later game Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down... I'm going to work backwards, because obviously with most factory games, working backwards usually gives you the best best result um, to kind of organise and where you want things to go. So from the research, we're going to put the red into here, and that's going to go from you. And then that's going to get put into a storage, which will be... And then you're going to go into an assembler, which is going to be here, which is going to be outputting the red. Oh, which is going to be outputting the red. So from you... Why, why are you doing that? Building. There. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to put down the assembler here, like that. We're going to get our view to output. We're going to have you to output. And then we're going to put a belt into there, into there. Obviously, I can't make the science pack yet. But if we assign that to be it once it's done. And then am I... 
I guess we can just put it straight from you. Oh, what no belts? I need to make. Oh, I don't need to make more belts. I can just pull them from from you. Bada bing, bada bosh. Let's get a couple more foundations as well. You always need more foundations. Always need more foundations. Always need more belts. So if we get you to come here, get you to turn right to go there, having an inserter there, set you to be an output like so. So that's that going in. And then we just need to bring you guys out. So I need to build another uh, output and then we can just basically get you to go into here, get another one to go there, make you an output, then get a belt to go along here, rotate like so. And then that is the items required to actually make red science packs. Cool. But what I'm going to do first, and I'm just going to set this to uh, an intake. The reason being is that's the output. What I'm going to do, I want a science if I can put down another science lab, which I don't have one. Uh, what was it I needed to make one? Uh, I need more plates, which we have in storage. So let's go and get some of them. Like right now, there is no kind of direction of what's what. It's just kind of, uh, I wouldn't say a bundle of mess, but it works right now. So we're going to build one of them. We're waiting for the science pack and seeing how it works. Okay, so the research is finally done. So let's put down the, oh, I didn't want to make another one. I've got one here. I want to put one down here. It is on the power grid. We are going to set up a research. So let's research interface. And let's get, let's say explosives, right? Let's start that research. So right now we need 40 science packs and 40 blue. The blue's in there. Oh, I did put one in here by accident. It's because I accidentally turned it back on. So we'll just wait for this to go. Because there's one kind of preloaded in here. So there we go. Below optimal research, speed could be caused by insufficient power, missed science items or disabled machines. So the blue is not going down here. So let's put a red one in here so this one's showing red and blue now and then let's put the red in there and it looks like it does not so we do have to put them into the same machine okay noted okay so i've connected it back up again and we can see yeah it's moving again so it is confirmed that we have to put both signs back into one science machine one thing that is puzzling me is when i played the early alpha to this game this science machine wasn't wasn't involved it was a kind of like a big kind of small little factory kind of thing it was like a white futuristic building which i'm curious on why they changed it to this maybe just for this is more practical to put in like a you know complex factory maybe but we've got it we've got the research being done now but i don't want to research just the explosives just yet i kind of want to work through like the decor because my rule of thumb is i want to work through all of these before we push on to the next right and then before we get onto the red blue and green ones i want to make sure we've got everything done in the red and blue ones before we move on because my brain doesn't work that way <laughs> right so as you can tell i've researched all the basic items like the doors and stuff and i made like a little showcase here for you so like of some stuff that you get like you've got the doors which these can be set to automatic or you can set these to manual by clicking the button right there so i have to pull the lever to get in uh, i always set to automatic um and then you've got these walls you can get uh, these kind of like foundations you can put down and you can paint these as well by getting the paint roller choosing your color you can even choose your own color as well so i can choose orange and just kind of paint it blah blah blah, blah. you've got signs so with the signs, it took me a little bit to figure out how to change the, the add the text and stuff, uh, which is this little button right here, tiny wind, uh, button, but you can add a little, you can format in here as well. So you can make bold text, it's all stated down here of what you can kind of do, and uh, obviously there's more other stuff you can do. So you've got small signs, you've got the long signs, and then if we go inside... We've got the storage container, which is, this is just a personal one. This does not have any inputs or outputs, um, but it's just kind of like a personal storage container. It's just like an upgraded version of the, the standard crate. So you got, these are for like you for store stuff in. Um, but then we've also got different building blocks, which can be colored as well. Uh, and with the building blocks, if we pull them out and then you hold right mouse button, you can actually see the different shapes you can use. So you can make ramps, you can make like semicircles and all this kind of stuff. Place them down and then just pull out the roller again and paint them. 
Unfortunately, we can't paint the rails, we can't paint the floor, we can't paint machines or anything else. The only thing it can paint is these white blocks as of right now. So hopefully in the future they add that. Uh, so here's a little example of the, the semicircle I made. Like a, it was like a little kid's playground, this, doesn't it? Um, and then I've added some ladders, which you can just kind of climb up and down um, and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, yeah, I thought I'll put this together for you. And now I can oh, I keep climbing down here. Uh, and then also there's some stairs as well. So we head inside, there's like the stairs. Uh, and yeah, I've not played around with the uh, walls and everything yet because they are in here, which you've got decor too, which is door walls and struts. There is some more decorational pieces. There's some more lights, like wall lights and ceiling lights and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, walkways and even office furniture. Uh, in case you want to make, you know, when we when we get to our CEO our office, we can put one down and when we make a big looking factory sort of thing, uh, which I'm kind of looking forward to um, in the future. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so I'm in a very, very confined space right now. That's because I've just mined all the way down uh, a big, big hole uh, and I've gone down to a sea just to see how far I can go down. Right now, I'm currently height 74. And it's telling me right now that you cannot be mined yet. You need to research a higher mining force. So if we actually go into research, there is another... Um, where is it? It's in here somewhere. It's in here somewhere. There's another research we've got to do to increase our mining force, which I'm guessing will unlock it. Yeah, there we go. Mining force. So allows drilling and blasting of deeper underground terrain, giving you access to previously unreachable resources. Because if we look on the map, we can see like right here, xenoferrite is currently unreachable because mining force required is one. So xenoferrite, that's because it's below this foundation right here. So we need to unlock that to go deeper. So I'm guessing the map is going to be height zero to 255. Um, so the lowest will be 255. I'm going to guess there's going to be bedrock down there. Uh, so bedrock between 0 and 15, possibly. Um, like kind of like little dunes or stuff down there. And then height is 255. Uh, because I know that because of the Twitch stream. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd kind of show you this. So I've kind of got to... I, I just wanted to kind of dig down to see what's down here. See if there's any, any natural caves or anything, but there isn't. Right, so I've been on the surface for about like an extra... 45 minutes and what i'm doing now is i've got into here and i've researched steel so if we actually look inside here now we can see i have advanced machine reports and i've unlocked steel beams so we've got some xenoferrite and ignium ore blend so we need to get xenoferrite and ignium ore which is literally over there and over there so i'm thinking we put something down here for regarding steel uh, and I'm currently researching mining drill speed 2 currently as well. Um, I've not done anything else in the meantime. Um, because with the research, only thing I can really do is just kind of hit the research and kind of skip it. There's no point in me walking around and waiting for this mining drill speed. So I kind of, I'm kind of cutting the research out, but I'm letting you know which research I have cut. So hopefully that's okay with you guys. Um, but yeah, we've got steel researched. And I think... We'll make uh, the steel a topic for episode three. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And hopefully you're enjoying these longer style videos. Or hopefully you are, because it is something I'm kind of pushing forward to with more of my videos, especially when it comes to Satisfactory down the line when 1.0 comes out, which I cannot wait for. And uh, it's going to be a good time. So check out my other content right here. And uh, if you enjoy, remember to subscribe, like, and also leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji. So as always, keep smiling, and I'll see you in another video.